Hi, this is Scott Marsh from Woody Cabinets Tips and Tricks. Today I got a few quick tips for you. I recently came across a situation where I needed a peninsula island in the kitchen. And what I needed was in the center of that island in this 45 degree area here, I wanted a sink base. And it had to have a 36 inch wide face frame. And it had to be 24 inches deep from the front of that face frame to the back of my center back there. And I also didn't want any dead space in my island. I wanted to make the most use out of this cabinet as I could. So let me show you how I built that. I'm going to go ahead and delete this cabinet. And I wanted to bring in my angled corner cabinet that I have in my library here. Now I'm going to edit that cabinet. I'm going to take it into the cabinet editor. And the first thing that I want to do is remove this center back here. And then I want to change the width of my face frame. So I'm going to go into construction settings and change my corner gap to zero and click OK. Now the next thing I need to do is change this face frame to be 36 inches. Now I can come over here, click on this blue arrow and under front width, it allows me to change the angle front width, but I can't just simply type in 36 inches. What I need to do is deduct twice the thickness of my face frame material here, which is 3 quarters of an inch. So for a 36 inch face frame, I would need a 34.5 inch front width. And that gives me my 36 inches for my face frame. Now the next thing I need to do is determine what the corner gap needs to be in order to make my cabinet 24 inches from the front of my face frame to the back of my center back. And this is one of the cool tips that I just learned. If I double click on my cabinet and bring up my measurement tool here, you'll see when I click on the front of my face frame here and the very corner of my back, if you look in the Z distance right here, it gives me the dimension that I need. But I could use a calculator if I had one handy and deduct 24 inches from that and come up with my corner gap. But what I want to do is I want to copy that. So every time I move my mouse, it resets it to zero or wherever I happen to be at. Now what I can do is I can right click and it brings up this dialog right here. If I'm real careful, I can click on this dimension dialog box here and I can come in here and I can highlight this. 51.1911 without the inch symbols. I right click and copy that to my clipboard. Now I can just go into construction settings and under corner settings I can paste that in my corner gap and just simply type minus 24 inches and hit enter. Now I need to make sure that I got miter center back checked and left and right styles miter I want that check. I'm going to click OK. Now I have my 24 inch deep cabinet that I'm after. If you look in the Z direction here, you see that I have 24 inches. And I can double check my face frame. And on the X direction, I've got 36. So all that's good to go. What I need to do next is actually remove my top. So I'm going to go into settings here, construction settings, and click none for my top. Now I need to put a mid rail in our face frame here. So I've got my mid rail in there. I'm just going to adjust my opening to 5 inches, which is what the rest of my cabinets are, and add my drawer front and my double doors. So all that looks real good. Let's go back to the custom layout. The only thing I need to do is adjust this. You see how it's overlapping that cabinet. So I'm going to click on it and move in wireframe. Put it right back where it was. So, there's our angled sink base in our Peninsula Island. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, give me a thumbs up. And hey, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe so you can get all my latest tips and tricks. And as always, thank you for watching and have a good day.